Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see one more concept in algorithms that is a greedy method. So in our previous sessions we have seen a one methodology that is divide and conquer where we are going to divide the complete problem into different parts and recursively we are going to solve each and every problem and after that integrating all the solutions will give the main solution. And for that we have seen a different uh, examples or applications, right? Now we'll say one more concept of this solving a problem that is a greedy method. So this is a one more methodology in order to solve the problem, right? And this greedy method is mainly used to solve the optimization problems, right? So it's mainly used to solve optimization problems. Now here the question is, what is meant by this optimization? So optimization, that means, so selecting the best solution among multiple alternatives okay so we are having a lot of alternatives so we need to select the best solution or the worst solution so for every problem there might be having some constraint or may not be having the constraint so based upon that constraint we need to select one option from the alternates so that such type of problems we call it as an optimization so optimization problem means it is a problem which can have multiple alternates multiple alternates so visually these multiple solutions will be considered in a subset okay that means a set of solutions so the procedure or a process which gives the solution or the procedure which gives the better result is known as feasible solution feasible solution right so a normal solution, whether it may be best or worst or minimal or a maximum, whatever it may be, the solution for a problem is called as a feasible solution. And the collection of all these feasible solutions will be in a sub subset. Okay. So there will be a set of feasible solutions. Set of feasible solutions. And from these feasible solutions, based upon the constraint, so we can select one solution and that will be the optimal solution or we can call it as a best solution. So the best solution, the best solution among set of feasible solutions is known as optimal solution okay so don't get confused among these two optimal solution and feasible solution so any solution can be considered as a feasible solution and based upon the constraint selecting one best solution among these feasible solutions is called as an optimal solution so that's why we call it as an optimization problem. So we need to select the best solution from this feasible solutions, right? So, so let us take an example, simple example that you can understand, right? So here, the may, uh, real real world problem is traveling from city A to 
city B. Okay, so there is one road. So through streets. Okay, through the streets. And there is a one more way. Which is a bypass. Bypass. Okay. So there are two solutions. So we can travel from city A to city B among these two paths. Okay. So the feasible solution is through streets and through bypass. So here you can see feasible solutions are one is a bypass. So using the bypass and another one is by using streets. For example, if we use a bypass, let us consider some 15 kilometers. And if you use streets, let us assume that 10 kilometers, the distance, okay, 10 kilometers. Now, which path we need to select? Which path we need to select? So here, constraint, consider a constraint. Okay, based upon the constraints, we are going to select either bypass or a street. So, if you use a bypass, less traffic will be there. Less traffic. Less traffic. And if you use it streets, obviously there will be a traffic and also there will be some signals, traffic signals. So, if you use a bypass, it may take a less than one hour time and it, if you use the traffic signals, it may or may not take. So, it may take a greater than or equal to one hour. So, if you want to reach the destination within a short period, within a short time, so without any traffic, you can select this one. And if you had any work in between the city, in between the streets, then you need to use this streets. So that means we are having multiple solutions, okay, multiple alternatives. So based upon the constraints, so if you had uh, some work, okay, if you had some work in between city, so we need to go through streets. If you are not having any work and if you want to reach quickly without, uh, I mean, avoiding the traffic signals, we can choose this bypass. So, this type of problems, we can call it as an optimization problem and these optimization problems can be solved by using this greedy method. Right? So, hope you understood the procedure. Now, what are the applications? That means, where we are going to use these greedy methods? Few applications. Okay? So, few applications. Few applications where we are going to use this greedy method. The first one is a selection sort. So in order to arrange the elements in a sorted order using the selection sort mechanism, we will use this greedy method. And just now we have seen finding shortest path. Finding shortest path. For example, consider a graph. So we are having So A and B, some 5 and 10 and 6 and 5 and 7. Now, see, if you want to reach from A to C, you can see, you can reach C through B. So total cost will be 15. So A to C via B, it is 16, A to C directly 6 and A to C via D, it will be 12. So which one is will be the shortest? So 6 will be the shortest. So in all these three cases, we can reach the destination, but the constraint is minimum shortest path. Okay. So finding the shortest path with the minimum distance and such type of problems, we are going to use this 
greedy method and then fractional knapsack fractional knapsack problem job sequencing job sequencing okay so finding minimum spanning tree minimal spanning tree so there are two approaches by using a Kruskal's or Prim's algorithm so minimum spanning tree so all these are the few applications where we are going to use this greedy method so in our further sessions we will see one by one so how we can apply the greedy method and how we can find the solution for all these applications right so let me explain you about one example and i will wind up about this introduction of greedy method right so example for understanding i will give the example so i am taking one example which you frequently listen so that means i am having some 25 rupees okay 25 rupees and i need a change okay need change with minimum number of coins minimum number of coins so coins available coins available so 5 rupees 2 rupees and 1 rupee so there are three possible coins so we need to get a change for 25 rupees with the minimum uh, number of coins so the solution one is see 5 into 5 rupees okay that means it requires 5 coins solution 2 we can take 5 into sorry 4 into 5 plus 4 5 is 20 2 into 2 rupees plus 1 into 1 rupee so how many coins it requires 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 so it requires total 7 coins and simply we can say solution 3 so 25 into 1 rupee which requires 25 coins similarly solution 4 we can have 2 into 5 rupees 10 and 10 into 2 rupees sorry again 5 5 into 2 rupees so 10 20 10 plus 10 20 and 5 into 1 rupee so total how many coins 2 plus 5 plus 1 5 12 coins so there are a lot of possibilities a lot of, a lot of possibilities so using 5 coins we can get a change for 25 rupees using 4 5 rupees coins and 2 2 rupees coins and 1 1 rupee coin still we can get the 25 rupees change for 25 rupees but it requires 7 coins and still we can get a 25 1 rupee coins so to get a 25 so it requires 25 coins and here in order to get the 25 we, we can have a 2 5 rupees coins 5 2 rupees coins and 5 1 rupees coins so obviously we can get the 25 change for 25 with the 12 coins so that will be keep on moving these are all the feasible solutions in all these cases we are getting the solution right but what is the constraint here minimum number of coins this is a constraint okay so this one will be the constraint so we have to satisfy this constraint so based upon that constraint we can select this optimal solution among all the feasible solutions among all the feasible solutions we can select the optimal solution so this is the procedure of finding the Op solution for optimization problem okay this is this procedure we call it as a greedy method so based upon the constraint 
getting the best solution or optimal solution okay so if, you, if there is no constraint so anything can be accepted we can accept anything either it can be it, it may be the best solution or the worst solution whatever it may be we can accept anything if there is no constraint for a problem if there is a constraint for a problem obviously from the multiple alternatives we have to select the best solution which satisfies the given constraint right so let's stop here hope you understood the introduction to this greedy method so let us uh, let us move on with the next concepts of applications explaining the applications using this greedy method from the further sessions right so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much